Yeah, well, I came in the shop and uh, Bill the Black was in the shop at the time. He said he'd had people in and uh, they are going to make the movie and yeah, it sort of started from there. Everyone in town started talking about, oh, there's a film coming to town called The Dry. Town just a buzz. It was really exciting. My dad moved up to Bula and rings me. He goes, guess who's coming to town? I went, I don't bloody know, Dad. He goes, no, I'm serious. They're filming a movie up here. I went, in Bula? <laughs> I went, it's the size of a pea. What? <laughs> Being out here in the Wimmer has been a such huge benefit for us to uh, try and capture a really cinematic version of a landscape that we don't see a lot of. We've gotten to know the region really well. The local community has been absolutely incredible and so supportive and we've had them playing extras and they've been you know working behind the scenes and construction and all kinds of different areas on the film and been so friendly and so accommodating and we just we wouldn't have been able to make the film without without their help. The whole thing was very exciting. It caused a great buzz with all these various trucks, cars coming into town. One hot afternoon, a Range Rover pulled out, at, out the front and some people got out with cameras and a big bloke walked up the road and I said to them, you guys look a bit suspicious. They said, oh no, no, we're looking for a place to shoot a movie. I said, come in for a cup of, cup of tea. I said, the bloke that used to run this place back in the 80s said the same to the Crawford team and they filmed the Flying Doctors here. Next minute there was a knock on the door and a big bloke pokes his head in and Eric Bannon walked in. And I said, grab yourself a drink, Eric, and an ice cream and had a bit of a chat. And he goes, no, seriously, come down on Saturday. They're like looking for people as extras. And I was like, once in a lifetime opportunity, I'll give it a try. Mum and one of her friends were talking and said, oh, they're going to shoot a film in Minyup and they're going to be applying for characters at the cafe. And we come down and had a go. We came in and Jane just said, oh, I think we got a perfect part for you. Mum had picked me up from school one day and told me that I was in the film and I was speechless, just didn't know what to say. I was really, really excited. Robert, the director, like, I had a good chat with him and he's he's like, oh, I'm gonna do a part for you. He goes, I haven't figured out what, he goes, but they're gonna draw up a contract. And I was like, what? Well, I heard some people talking about it and then next thing you know, my sister's racing in the door saying, oh, put your name down to be in this film. So there was auditions at the shop. Dad said, oi, do you wanna, uh, be an extra. I'm like, do your auditions here. I'm like, of course, of course I want to. Dad got an email that I got in and then we started doing filming. But they see a camera down the other end of the town. Oh, it's just wonderful. Everyone was so helpful, kind. They helped you to join in. You had meals with them. They're just beautiful people. Little towns like Minyup really do benefit from major pro projects like The Dry and, and other movies coming here. Yeah, it was a huge thing, really. These little places are all that one, you know. Yeah, it's pretty special for all of us. It would be great if more films decided to be filmed here. The lighting's great. It's a beautiful area. Endless what you could do around here. Out here, you could get on a horse and you could ride through to the sea in South Australia and you're in open country all the way over. It's just uh, endless. You know, I grew up in the bush, in the Blue Mountains, and always have a great affection for living outside the cities. And I loved filming in regional Victoria. The local community could not have been more welcoming. I mean, they loved having us there and we loved working with them. And they're in the film, there's extras and, you know, people we used off the street that came and worked with us. We filmed in different farms and properties and a whole range of towns right across the Wimmera. It was extraordinary actually, and uh, I've developed a massive affection for that part of the world and the people there. Hello, my name's Karen and I live in Beulah, a beautiful place. My name's Dale Maggs and I live in Rapanyup. G'day, I'm Dale Maggs. Hi, I'm Barb. 
I'm Secretary of the Historic Learning and Progress Association. Yeah, uh, my name's uh, Squatter Coffee. Grew up in Birchip, about 40 k's that way, and uh, come over here at 21, got a job on the grain silos, been here ever since. My name's Ryder Hudson, I'm 10 and I love Native Works. I played Lockie, which is Gretchen's son. She's one of the main characters. I'm Mark, I'm 59. I'm uh, on a pension now and just kicking back. I'm Stephanie Helmshaw. I grew up in the back blocks of a small town called Meredith. It's obviously dry. It's, a movie's got a good title for that, really. It just brought life into our town. And I think the more filming in little towns like this in Victoria is really cool. It really brings the community together and it really makes a town that you've never heard of just special. It's a fair bit of pride about the place, you know, like we all we all do our best, you know. It's it's a pretty special place, Beulah. Good people. The weather, the quietness, enjoying nature. Different. <laughs> Going from Melbourne to here is very different. Well you go from everything happening at 3,000 miles an hour to everything happening every 3,000 days. <laughs> and communities that all get involved in one community join together. Look, regional Victoria offers a great diverse culture because we're friendly and it really does add benefits not only to the community but to the filmmakers because it's a, it's a great thing for everyone because you can work hand in hand with those people and um, help develop a great relationship. I really do feel for them. You know, we really are in a time of drought. We're in a time where global warming's impacts are really being felt in regional Australia. And, you know, some of these towns, you know, you really feel local businesses really struggling. And, you know, I was glad that we could actually bring some economic kind of injection into these communities with the film. And we're really encouraged here, Film Victoria and the state government in Victoria, really encouraging us to go out there, use local, spend money out there. And I, I hope actually for all those local communities, watching the film will be a chance for them to see their story. I, I was really desperately keen to not judge that world, you know, and not to have the stereotypes of the Aussie country butlers, and, but just to show it, to show it truthfully and real, and to show the world actually. I think all this is just wonderful for regional areas. If you have a look at regional Victoria, you can go from the Grampians, which shows you hills and mountains and waterfalls and the rivers, all the way up to flat areas, to slightly hilly areas. There's lots of diverse countryside. All the little different towns have got something to offer. You've got everything that you can want. It's here. And there's lots of little towns. If you don't get it at one town, you'll get it at another. They've helped this community so much, the film people, that they'll never be forgotten. It's a big experience. And it's great to have projects, major projects in our region. And things like filming is a great opportunity, not only for other people to see our community and how we work. Once a film's been done here, they go, oh, I'd love to go and see where they filmed that. So it, it really helps the economy of small towns. It also brightens the heart of the people that live there because if they get involved in it, they say, remember when we were kids and they filmed the dry? And it really helps those little towns and brings back the soul into the, to the town, I think. So it's a, it's a great thing. So it'll just be a buzz to see the town and all the people that I know to be in the, be on the screen, yeah. I'm the most excited about seeing myself on the film. And it'll be real great to see the town on the big screen. I'm looking forward to seeing everyone that was involved in the film. I really want to start doing acting jobs around here, especially around these towns because we don't get much stuff like around here, so I just wanna do what I can, when I can. I think the main difference is it really brought Beulah like together, really, really like connected us all together. I think once the movie's actually released and that it's known that Beulah and Miniap were like a big part in the movie, 
the amount of tourists we're going to get, that will be what brings on the business, I believe. Look, I think I think one of the great things is little towns like Minyip, that history with film is, is integral. People love it. They come from all over the world to see this little town. And I'm sure now with this big project, more people will come to regional Victoria and towns like Minyip, Beulah and all those other places. It's pretty amazing how the planets lined up to have the world premiere of this film that we loved making out here, here in Horsham. Yeah, the people have been fantastic. They've been so helpful and welcoming and they couldn't do enough for us in every possible way. You know, it's not often you get to premiere a film in the region that you, you, you shot it in, so it's just fantastic. So it's great to be able to bring the film here first before everywhere else. You know, the film clearly benefits from where we shot and this ability to stitch together our perfect version of Kiowara out of eight or nine different locations and create this tapestry of a country town. You know, visually, that's, that's what the film needed and, and really benefits from it. Dawood, what is your go watch ballet? It is good. We all meet on the land of the watch ballet. My name is only Nancy Harrison. I'm a watch ballet elder from Dimboola. I'd like to welcome you all to the land of my ancestors, the watch ballet people. For thousands of years, stories have been passed down on this diverse landscape. It has inspired stories of creation, stories of law, stories of wisdom, and stories of knowledge. And it's great to see this very landscape has inspired the story of the dry. You know, films like this are made miraculously with so much support. The Victorian State Government, uh, through the support of Film Victoria, gave us a massive incentive to film regionally. When we were in pre-production, um, Rob made it very clear that he wanted to involve the local community. And so we decided to cast all of the extras in this film uh, with people who lived in the regions. It's amazing to have him here. I'd like to introduce you to the leader of the film, Eric Banner. Thanks, Rob. Thanks, Jane. Thanks, everyone. Thank you so much for coming along. I know you're all here to see yourselves on the big screen, not there. Okay. I get it. So I hope you enjoyed recognising yourselves, recognising the region, and thanks to the support we had from particularly uh, Screen Australia and Film Victoria and our producers, we were able to film out here, but we couldn't have done it without the involvement and the support of everyone in this region. I want to thank Rob, I want to thank Village Roadshow, the producers behind the film, for letting us do this. It's one of those ideas you think, oh, they'll never let us show the film in Horsham on the first day before Melbourne, Sydney and everywhere else. But they did, and um, we're thrilled that it's here and that you guys are amongst the first to see it. So again, thanks very much, and we hope you enjoy the experience of seeing this beautiful region up on the big screen. Cheers, have a great day. It was such a thrill to see our little town of Beulah on the big screen. We were absolutely wrapped. Oh, it's just wonderful. Just the whole thing. And that tear coming out the side and the eyes. And, oh, it's just lovely. It's amazing how it's all slotted together and it makes that one collage of a great movie. Seeing my name in the credits hit me hard. Um, that was like, whoa, okay. <laughs> I was there. Yeah, it was really great to see Bueller up on the big screen and uh, just look perfect. <laughs>